Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and I am, uh, well, actually I remembered to, um, heal my Pokemon before, <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like waiting for this person to, okay, I was envisioning my house, uh, but this is where I teleport? This is a pretty random place to teleport to, if, uh, this one small island out here behind, uh, or up on the north end of Six Island. So, I was also trying to decide, too, if I wanted to, like, switch out for my victory bell, or... Because um, it looked like the egg is still <laughs> quite a ways away from hatching. Um, also, I didn't really think about it. I wonder if I have any good TMs. I haven't really, um, like, checked in a while to see if there would be anything that would be uh, a good boost to... Whoa! Oh. Interesting. I uh, forgot that he used that, I, or at least I didn't really pay much attention to it. Um, hmm. Let's switch to Don Fan. He should be able to do some damage. Yeah, Future Sight doesn't really. Well, <laughs> I don't want to sound too confident about that because I did a lot of damage to my uh, my Pidgeot. But um, I think he'll. Uh, I mean, he's a little bit higher level, obviously. So. I do have to wonder though, am I going to gain, well I haven't gained any levels yet, but ooh, that's not a good matchup. Um, hmm. You know what, I'll just go with Browgator, because he'll probably take the Future Sight here, and uh, this won't really do much. Yeah. And Future Sight, why does that do so much? I don't remember how uh, Future Sight's damage, I mean I thought it was just, you know, pretty much a typical move, but that did a lot of damage. Considering the, uh, I was like, you know, 30 plus levels, um, uh, you know, higher than it. Oh, well. At least, I was gonna say, as long as he doesn't use Future Sight again, I should be good. Uh, and take it out with this Rock Climb here. Oh, good. Don Fan grew a level. Um, but that being said, <laughs> apparently I'll need to heal my Pokemon again already, even though I literally just got back from the Pokemon Center. Um, I'm so scatterbrained. I need to focus so I can teleport properly to my house. Well... Oh, my repel wore off. Yes, I'll use another one. Uh, and then also, I will use some potions. Because that did... I mean, that did almost about the same amount of damage. Well, no, it did more damage to my Feraligator, I believe, than it did to my Pidgeot, technically speaking. Um, I, but I really don't... I guess I don't have anyone that has Future Sight that I can double-check its, uh, its power, but... I, that seemed to do a lot. <laughs> Oh, and actually, while I'm in the menu here, I might as well check my TMs real quick. Um, if I have anything good... Oh, I was like, where's HM2? I was I was looking from left to right, as opposed to uh, this way. That's all the HMs. Any good flying-type moves I could teach to my Pidgeot? I mean, obviously, I have fly, I guess, but... Uh, Dragon Breath, Sick Talk... Fence Cruel, Metronome, I don't think anyone can learn Metronome on my team at the moment. Ooh, Explosion. Pound. <laughs> oh, whoops, I hit the, there we go. Um, hmm. Oh, Roost, but I already have that. Eh, I guess not. Oh, actually, just out of curiosity, I didn't really think about it. Can anyone learn Shockwave? Oh, Lugia. That's interesting. I honestly don't know that I've ever checked that. I'm kind of curious now. I don't... Let's see. What can I delete? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't think so. Well, it was worth a shot, though, I suppose. But let's go ahead and just uh, give up on that for now. Uh, and I don't think... I was just trying to, trying to find something that... Well, maybe Giga Drain. Because sometimes... No. Nobody can learn that. For some reason, no, well, maybe not that either. For some reason, I was thinking maybe Jinx could learn an electric type move, but I'm probably just misremembering that. So, it shouldn't be too bad. I'll just uh, head on up here. Fight my way through these uh, few swimmers, I guess. It's not easy sending Pokemon out while swimming, you know? I guess that, well, I mean. Per yeah, I guess not. Uh, 
I just wish I had something, I mean, I guess I got fly, but I don't know, most of the time I'm too lazy to uh, kind of sit through the uh, the two turns. Uh, I'll just go ahead and use it. Oh, honestly, I thought the Azuma roll would have been faster than me. I'm trying to remember what ability, I just assumed it has the uh, Swift Swim ability, but I guess not. Honestly, I don't remember what ability it does have. Nah, that kind of hurt. But I gotta say, his stats will go down. Uh, he is a few levels higher than me. Maybe I should use someone else other than Pidgeot. I kind of want to train him, but at the same time, it's like... Eh. Well, there we go. At least he grew a level. Oh, I guess that was early in Pokemon. I didn't lose to you at swimming. This doesn't bother me. Okay. Are you headed for the island up past here? I didn't see anything interesting there. Well, I'll be the judge of that. I'm sure there's probably something that I can find up here that'll be uh, of use to me. But before I do that, <laughs> I'm going to use another potion because he got hit pretty hard there. Actually, hmm. Let me... Uh... Nah, I'll just leave it as Pidgeot for now. I don't really have anything better to use. I'm guessing this is going to be a double battle or something, though. Potentially. Let's see. Geb. Big sister, help me. Please battle with me. <laughs> Swimmer? Geb? I don't really know for sure. Oh, it's just a single battle. But uh, apparently, I guess his sister must have declined his, uh, his plea for help then. But, um... Oh, Dynamic Punch. Uh, I'm not so yeah, so I'm not so much concerned about the damage as I am the confusion, because that could be annoying. Oh, I guess it didn't affect it. Not too bad. And Starmie, I am gonna. I wish I thought my Feraligator had um, Crunch, but I must have like th that was probably a long time ago, and I probably removed it for like uh, Rock Climb or something. Which actually, I'm kind of curious now. Not to go off on a tangent, but since there was just the uh, uh, the new Pokemon Sword and Shield information released, I wonder if they're going. To, I assume they've completely done away with TMs at this point. And I don't think there's been any confirmation on that, but or not <laughs> not, not done away with TMs, done away with HMs, or at least um, you know having them in the the format of being these non-deletable moves that you know you basically have to teach Pokemon to kind of get through the game. Uh, big sister, this person's really good. Eh. Appreciate the compliment, but, uh, oh, I lost my sound. I assume I am going to fight her, though. You know, I do prefer the sea over any pool. Oh. Or not. Not that I'm complaining, I guess. <laughs> she probably just saw how badly I, I beat her brother with my, uh, level 86 for alligator. And was like, eh, I'm giving up. I swam, swam here from Six Isle Port in one go. Swimmer, Mimo. I never noticed that, uh, I guess it's a question whether they uh, actually are a swimmer or not. <laughs> their, their swimming skills are called into question. Also do enjoy uh, watching their attacks miss while I'm up in the air. Oh, that's, uh, didn't hurt as much. I guess I wouldn't, because I think, doesn't that do, ooh, I should use Bruce actually. I forgot I have a self-heal. I don't know why. I didn't really think of using that sooner. Because it's not like he's going to do... Yeah, so even if he uses Brine again. Eh. Because I think Brine, if I remember correctly, it's kind of like Avalanche, where it's like, if you're... If the opposing Pokemon is like below half health, it does more damage or something, I think. I think I'm remembering how that works correctly. Possibly. I'm not going to take that chance, because I think, you know, if it gets me below half health, then it'll definitely probably take me out. Um... Would be my guess. Oh, that didn't seem to do as much as I expected it to. Um, this is kind of annoying. Cause I was hoping that I would be able to take it out with a third fly, but I'll just roost up again a couple more times because uh, he's obviously. Uh, nah, I guess I don't need to this turn. I can just use fly. Maybe he'll use something else. Nope, of course not. Uh, yeah, I figured that wouldn't quite take it out. But, oh! I don't think I was below half health, though. Yet that seemed to do so much more. 
Man, that's disappointing. Um, I didn't even see like how much or like what other Pokemon he had left or how many or whatever. I'll use my Lugia and um, oh, so he's not got one left after this. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, I guess it's raining. I didn't even notice that. Was it raining when I had that last battle, or the not last battle, but the one with the the Zoomeral? Because I'm pretty sure it used Rain Dance, and that would be obviously pretty redundant if it was used Rain Dance while it was raining, because I did not pay any attention to that whatsoever. Uh, but I, I'll say Iron Defense, or really, that's where the amount of times in this series probably that I've had Pokemon with just like the tiniest sliver of health. I know there was like one in like the last video, I think. That um, I couldn't even like hardly see, but oh well. Gasp, gasp. I'm only at the halfway point. I'm beat. I mean, we're not. I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't really look like we're at the halfway point. It looks like we're pretty much here, unless there's something further up. But don't really seem to be anything. Maybe I guess this is the island that. Well, yeah. There's not really. I guess there's a fisher guy. What I'm actually going to do is switch to Lugia and go ahead and just have him out and steamroll this guy with him. For having no luck at all, a battle will be a change of pace. Oh good! That was actually a very convenient uh, choice on my part because this should take it out in one hit I think. You know Quillfish is a, one of those Pokemon that I guess because, you know, it does not have, uh, you know, any kind of evolution or even, like, you know, a mega evolution or anything like that. Um, it's just very... And it's also, like, not overly common. Uh, you know, I think in the original Gen 2 games, it's a, a swarm Pokemon. I think you can only find it if, like, that condition is met, if I recall correctly. Um, so I've never really gotten the chance to use it much. But, you know, Water Poison... I guess it's not particularly a unique typing anymore, but it is one that would have been, you know, kind of interesting to use back in Gen 2. Uh, I can't very well go home without catching something, though. It's kind of like Corsola. Corsola had an interesting typing as well, and it's really just a shame that both of them are not... I mean, is at least a little bit more common, I suppose, but, you know, uh, as far as, like, usefulness, n neither one of them really... Um, you know, I'm going to at least just, like, land here, and ooh, it looks like there's a member of Team Rocket. I'll have to go check that out. So much for there not being anything of interest, if, uh, if unless my eyes are deceiving me here. Um, let's swim around to this side. Ah, uh, yes. And it's like a, a whole little cave area. So let me heal up actually first, because uh, they are really doing quite a bit of damage to my Pokemon. Uh, of course, you know, obviously the trainers here are much higher level at this point in the game, but... Um. Oh yeah, it's just that Fisher over there. So let's go ahead. Stay back, kid. I was asked not to let anyone enter this crucial spot for our future operations. So you're not moving. I have rare Pokemon, and I'm really angry now. I'll take it out on you. Okay. You know, rare does not necessarily mean strong. Isn't that? Um, I'm pretty sure there's like some NPC that says like that exact line. I don't think it's this guy. I don't remember. I think I feel like it's from one of the Gen game, Gen One games, or something like that. He's like, also, Garbodor is not even that rare, is it? Um, it may well certainly Watchog isn't. It's basically the Rattata. Well, the evolved form of Rattata of its generation, right? I'm trying to think of what evolves into Watchog. Cause it's been a long time. I like honestly, I feel bad because I feel I, it is Gen Five, right? Honestly, I don't even remember <laughs> remember that either, but uh, which is strange because it really so Gen five and Gen six are easily like my two most. I think yeah, it must be Gen five because these are all Gen five Pokemon. Um, those are really the two generations I'm least familiar with. But uh, so it's nice to see them get a little bit of representation here. I guess that's why his Pokemon are rare because obviously they're Gen five Pokemon, right? Yes. Uh, Lugia reached 62. That's good. I will definitely take that. And this guy... Uh, Intimidate shouldn't affect me too much, though, because I have the type advantage. So 
say it might take yeah two hits probably, but that's okay. Um, yeah, thankfully that didn't do too much. One of the benefits of oh wait, who used Future Sight? <laughs> also, I like how Future Sight did nothing there, and yet um, man, that uh, Zatu and the Alexam or whatever <laughs> their their Future Sights did almost like two hundred damage or whatever, hundred and some damage. Uh, he seems quite surprised. My Pokemon, God, who even cares about those stupid islands and their weird Pokemon anyway? I'll go back to the Unova. Yeah, so he was from Gen 5. <laughs> I like how, well, so if he's from Unova, th those Pokemon definitely aren't even rare. I mean, I guess maybe the Crocodile is, uh, I, I'm using air quotes here, the rarest because it's not really even that rare. Oh, he left something behind. The sea map. The Liberty sea map. Alrighty, so I'm guessing I'll want to take that back to the, um... Oh, this is the Altering Cave. I knew this was somewhere, but uh, I couldn't remember which island. And I really don't think... I Honestly, I feel like I completely forget what this was even used for in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Like, I remember it was basically completely empty. And I know it's also in, like, the other Gen 3 games, I believe. But I, I, I can't remember if it was, like, you encounter a certain Pokemon here... Or, well, you know what, I'm actually going to leave my repel off because I'm going to test that. Uh, I don't remember if it's like a specific Pokemon you find here or if there's like supposed to be some kind of event and like they ended up not using it uh, for anything. Or maybe they did and I just missed out on the event or I don't really know to be honest. Um, but uh, let's just see what wild Pokemon we can... Maybe we'll be a uh, Gen 5 Pokemon since the Gen 5 guy was guarding the entrance. I guess we'll find out here soon enough. Nope, it is literally a Zubat. So, a level 44 Zubat at that. I didn't, I don't know. I honestly, I, I, I never cease to amaze myself with the amount of things that I've forgotten from, uh, from even the games like Fire Red and Leaf Green that I've played. I don't know, probably a good, I guess, you know, I haven't really played Fire Red and Leaf Green that much, maybe three times. So, I guess that's not as many as I thought. Not compared to, like, Gens 1 and 2. But uh, let's just go ahead and leave for now. And, you know, I'm going to head back. And, uh, oh, yeah. I was like, who's my uh, flyer? He is. So I think, um, do I want to try out, look at the map next? Or do I want to go down to the Rune Valley and the Dotted Hole? Um... And then what's this? Oh, that's Five Island. Where's Seven? No, that's Four. Uh, two. Well, so one, two, three. Oh, well, that's Seven. Four, five, six, seven. So uh, that will obviously be in my future as well. But first things first, I'm going back here. Going to the Pokemon Center. I am going to go ahead and uh, wrap up this part. Seems like a good break point. Um, before I probably go south of the island next and explore that area, then come back and uh, check out the new Liberty Sea map. Um, so in the meantime, if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate hitting that like button and uh, subscribing to my channel if you want to uh, get notified of future videos and content. Um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and thanks again for watching.